What is going on, Poke Mosh Pit Beta? My name is Ian, and I got a really cool standard battle for you today, and a stuffy nose with my boy Patrick. Pat. Or something else. And this is a cool, cool, cool battle. Leading with my boy Bigger on, the Don fan. Then we go down the line Adam Ant, Robert Downey Jr., Prime Ape. A.K.A. Crazy Jim, Scooby Doom the Hound Doom, and Cray Dilly. It's going to be off the chain. Word up. Battle time. So, like I said, I'm going to lead with Biggeron. He's going to lead with his Hitmon Lee, the Kicking Fiend. And I'm going to switch out right from the beginning, going into Downey Jr., because he's my defensive wall in this match. And wow. Slowbro rules. With leftovers, regenerator, max defense. He's the shit. He's going to switch in his Bufalant right here, as I'm going to go for the Fire Blast, predicting some sort of uh, grass-type guy. He had a lot of uh, a lot of things that wouldn't want to take a fire-type attack, to my knowledge. I don't write anything down, but, you know, I should. It might help me. Go for the Scald right here, fishing for that burn. Not going to get it. Oh, man, I don't get the burn a lot in this match, and I fish for it, believe you me. He's going to Mega Horn here after a Swords Dance. Robert Downey Jr.'s still going to be able to win. And he comes out at 82 HP, and I'm going to get my lefties back, and I'm going to switch out to get that Regenerator health bonus back. And I'm going to assume he's going to go for the Mega Horn again to try to finish me off, so I'm going to go into Adamant. Lucky, because he could have switched it up, and that might have been the end of Adamant. But Durant's going to get some action in this battle, going to go for the Iron Head, fishing for a flinch. I should just stop fishing. I'm a bad fisherman. And uh, so I'm not going to get it. His recall is going to take him down to a sliver, but boo! Crazy Jim's going to have to sweep up the pieces. As usual, Crazy Jim, you're just a broom. Anyway, he's going to set out his uh, Gengar right here. Makes the awesome play. I go into Mario Kart, he sets up a sub. Ooh, bummer city, this is terrible. Because he's also packing the Focus Blast. Should have seen that coming. Does a lot to my specially defensive Lilligant, because it's super effective. And, you know, I thought this energy ball would at least KO its stab. Most of my EVs are in special attack, but no. No. No, no, no. And he's just going to focus blast me again. Oh, Mario Kart, I love you. But no worries. No worries. I got Scooby Doom. Scooby Doom's going to do it. Luckily for me, he's faster than me. And he doesn't think he is. So he goes for the sub to try to set up another sub as I just defeat a sub. But what happens is he made a sub while he was already subbed. So I'm going to go for Dark Pulse here and make the awesome prediction go for a Fire Blast. I wasn't really predicting the Disable exactly, but I predicted maybe a switch into something or whatever. It worked awesomely. I take out his Gengar in one stabby swoop. Now, what I love about this Scooby Doom build, no one ever expects the Will-O-Wisp with the Fire Blast or a Fire-type attack. But it's awesome. And I will wisp his, hip his Hitmonlee, basically making him glorified crap. And going to send out the bigger on because I know this is a good chance to set up my Stealth Rocks. And that's word. Because he's going to be taking some burn damage. And he goes in the superior right here. Doesn't take that earthquake as much uh, as well as he thought he would. And I get a crit. Kind of didn't notice that at the time, but wow, that was a lot of damage. Must It had to have been crit. Uh, Ice Shard doesn't doesn't take him out so close, and he can Leaf Storm my Big Ron, but that's fine. Big Ron, you've done your shit. Doesn't look like he's setting up rocks in this battle, so I don't really need a Rapid Spinner. And look at you, Crazy Jim, look at you. Always sweeping up my messes. However, now he's going to send out the Ape, and I don't want... I don't want to ice punch that guy, he's on fire. So I go back into Downey Jr., he makes an awesome prediction, goes for the U-turn. Which is boo, because that did a lot to Robert Downey Jr. And uh, here comes the stall fest. Oh man, this part was... Oh, so much, so much stress, anticipation, suspense, everything. This little skirmish between my slow bro and his Dragonite is epic indeed. So what basically happens is he's gonna thunder wave me off the bat. Doesn't really make a difference. Downey Jr. slow. 
But now he starts dragon dancing. I'm like, you know, I'll probably get the burn before these dragon dances get too out of hand. Like, I can do this. Robert Downey Jr., you can do this. And you know, he gives me a little test, a test claw, see how much it'll do. I'm like, haha, not gonna do very much. And I'll probably get the burn soon. I will probably get the burn soon, is what I thought. But, uh, he's gonna dragon dance again. Still not that worried. I'm thinking, you know, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna burn soon, right? No. I think it takes me four, maybe even five tries before I get this burn. And at this point, he's three dragon dances in. Count them three. That's a swords dance and a half before I finally get the burn. So he's Speedy Gonzales with daggers over here, and he's taking residual damage. This is nice. But he sets up another one, and I'm like, oh shit. Uh... Let's start psychicking. I think my strategy at this point was get him low enough to where he's going to have to roost, and then I switch out. But I guess I, I did the math wrong, because he roosts up right here. And I go for another Psychic, and I'm like, damn. Damn, you know what? Maybe maybe he's going to want to roost now, just to get up to full health. To activate his multi-scale again. So I'm going to go into Crazy Gym. But darn it, he goes for the plus four, and I'm like, ooh! <gasps> crazy Gym. You so crazy. The burn barely let me survive that, but at this point, he's just so fast, I kind of want to... Save Crazy Jim for backup, because I know Robert Downey Jr. can take these Dragon Claws all day. And it's just a matter of me coming in at the right point, and maybe I can use Prime Ape for after this guy. But uh, there's really, like, no hope for me. I I was so worried, and we went back and forth, each, each of us taking, like, a couple minutes each to decide what we were going to do. And finally, he goes for the Dragon Claw right here thinking I was going to switch or something. I don't know what. But Robert Downey Jr. comes out ahead. And that's a booyah. Because now, his last two pokes are Hitmonlee the Kicking Fiend and Infernape. And Robert, Robert Downey Jr. can just take them out with ease. Oh my god. Intense battle. Pat. Great battler. If you guys... If you guys like this, you can rate, comment, like, sub, do whatever you want. But yeah, go go and watch a Robert Downey Jr. movie because I think as an actor, he deserves it for being compared to my slow bro. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, guys.